Okay, I'm in Autodesk Inventor. The first thing I'm going to do in the Tangram puzzle is I'm going to draw a part. So I go File, New, and I'm going to create a part. The first part I will create is actually the pocket or the tray that all the pieces are going to go into. Uh, I'm going to create a 2D sketch in the XY plane. I'm going to, I always try and draw in the positive space of so the first quadrant, the Cartesian coordinate plane. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin and I'm going to drag up 7 by 7 inches. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm actually going to stop right there and finish the sketch and extrude this board out 3 quarters of an inch. Okay. Uh, this is fit screen. Now that I've, I've drawn my board, I'm going to create another 2D sketch on my part I've already drawn. So I click back on that front plane. A lot of ways to do this. This is just one. I'm going to create a square from here to here. That's a half, tab a half. This is really just for me to get a reference point. Then I'm going to create another rectangle. It's going to be a square. And I'm going to go up 6, tab 6, enter. And now that I'm going to done that, let me go back and delete this little square out of here. Okay, whoops. Okay, I'm going to finish that sketch. And now I'm going to go back to extrude. I'm going to select this plane. I'm not going to extrude it out. I'm going to extrude it back in. And I'm going to make it to the depth of a quarter of an inch. This three quarter inch MDF wood that I'm building it out of. This will allow me to have about a half inch of my pieces to grab. I'm going to select the material. It also gives me depth. I'll make the pocket out of wooden birch. And then I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save this part as part one or tray. I already did this, so it's going to save it there. OK, so there's my first part. My next part, I'm going to create a new part. Uh, create a 2D sketch in the XY plane. And what I'm going to do here is similar. Uh, I'm going to create a square. I'm going to start here and go up. 6, tab 6, enter. Fit screen. And then I'm going to create, right click OK. I'm going to create a line from endpoint to endpoint. Right click OK. And then I'm going to click another line from endpoint to midpoint. This way I have as many exact values as possible because I've only entered integers. So now that I've done that I'm going to go back and delete all my other parts to this uh, square and I'm going to trim this line back. Okay. So there's my first part or actually I guess my first puzzle piece part. I'm going to finish that sketch um, fit screen. I'm going to extrude it out three quarters of an inch. And even though uh, it's the same MDF wood, I'm going to actually call it a different wood so I could differentiate between my base and my puzzle pieces. Again, I go File, Save As, um, and I'm going to call that Part 2. Okay, and I'm going to create all my parts that way. The one thing I, I want you to pay attention to here is I'm going to go File, New. Now I'm going to create my assembly. It's going to be a standard assembly. I really want to place, the first part I place in my assembly is fixed. So I really want to place my base in there first. because that, that doesn't move around. So I'm going to place the base in here. Right click OK. And then of those triangles, I have two of them. So I don't have to create those parts twice. I'm going to place them twice. So I go place the triangle. And I'm going to place one right here, a second one right here. Right click OK. So if the parts are identical, you don't have to recreate them. You just place them twice. And then I'm going to constrain them by going constrain. I'm going to make the bottom of this triangle here to the bottom of my pocket. And you know this side to that 
Psi, wait a sec, now I'm going to do a mate between, whoops, a mate between this plane, and it's sometimes it's hard unless you zoom in, apply, um, let me see if I'm on the right track here, and I can see that's made it on there, right, and um, one more constraint to keep it fixed. I'm going to do the same thing with this part. Place it right in here. I'm going to create all my other parts. Place them into my assembly. Save my assembly. And then create my working drawings off of this assembly.